So in the last video, we made a really simple Hello World app using React and Ruby on Rails. Uh, so in this video, we're going to extend that app by adding in React Router and adding routes to our application. So let's just jump in here. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up our server. So I'm going to do Rails S to start our Rails server. And then I'm actually going to open up, uh, I have another tab inside the app. And I'm going to do uh, dot slash bin slash webpack dev server. And this will basically just set up the real time reloading that you might be familiar with when you're doing just a basic React app. So now if we jump over into our browser, we should be able to see uh, that hello world that we set up from the last video. Cool. So I'm actually, I'm going to kill the server for a second because what we're going to do is we're going to add React Router uh, using Yarn. So now we can Yarn add React Router. Um, and then we also want to add React Router DOM. So let's do Yarn add React Router DOM. Okay, so now that we have that set up, let's go over into our index.js file and we're just gonna do import uh, browser router and we're gonna do as router route uh, from react router dom. And so now what we can do is down here on line eight, um, instead of passing in our app component, what we can do is use router and route to set up our router and then we can pass in a route with our root path and then we can pass our app component in here. So this is gonna to go to our app component and what we can do now is inside of our app component, we can set up uh, all of the routes we wanna use with our app. Um, so what we're gonna do in our app component then is we're gonna import route and switch from React Router DOM. And then with those imported, what we can do is we can get rid of this uh, and inside of this, we can add switch and then inside of switch, we can pass in all of the routes that we wanna use for our application. Um, so we can start to create routes and what we can do is set exact paths to you know, where we want them to go and pass in the corresponding uh, component. So we'll say we want our uh, root path to go to home and maybe we want uh, you know, an about path to go to an about component that we can create uh, and then we can do the same thing with, let's say, contact, and we can create a uh, contact component. Now, obviously, we don't have these components created yet. So let's actually, inside of our components folder, just really quickly create uh, all of these components. So we'll do import React from React, and we'll just really quickly spin up uh, each of these. Cool, so I'm just gonna copy this over and do the same thing for about and contact. Uh, so we'll just change this to about. This is the about page and then we'll export about. And then we'll do the same thing for our contact component. Cool, so now we just need to import these new components into our app and what we can do now is we can import our components that we just created. So let's do import home from, uh, uh, and then we can do the same thing for about and contact. Okay, so it might seem like we have everything set up at this point. Uh, this is actually not going to work yet. So if we fire our servers back up, so let's see what happens if we try to go to about, for example, uh, and we can see that that throws an error. Um, so basically what we need to do is we need to slightly adjust our routes on the rail side inside of our application. Uh, so if we go down to config and jump into our routes.rb file, it's actually pretty simple. All we have to do, I'm just gonna get rid of this, is uh, we can add 
we can add match and we'll do star and then path uh, and we'll do two and we want to set that to our root path as well where we passed in the uh, JavaScript pack tag back in the first part of this and then we just need to say via all so this will basically act as a catch-all and send everything back to our index path, which is then going to pass into you know our, our routes, uh, and then we'll actually be able to navigate to these different routes and pull in these components. So with that set up, uh, let's see, uh, and it looks like we actually have, uh, oh, okay, so this is actually just a little typo. Uh, I guess I, I accidentally did, uh, this should actually be browser router. So let's just fix that, uh, let's fix here, cool. So now if we go back here, we can see uh, we're at our root path and we can see that this is our home page component we created. Uh, but now we should be able to also go to about uh, and you see that pulls up the about component. Uh, and additionally, we can go to contact. So just like that, we now have routing set up within our React application.